We're back in Skyrim today, doing another location guide. <coughs> ah, sorry, I clear my throat. All right, so as you can see, we've um, checked out a number of the farms already. Well, two of them, and the Horning Brew Metairie, Haunting Brew, um, that are all near White Run. We haven't even gone into White Run yet because we're just exploring all the outer areas first. Um, as you can see, um, a little bit next to the Metairie, and we're gonna head to this undiscovered, as of yet, farm. And uh, I'm starting here, because as you can see here, uh, there is this interesting glowing plant, a Nern root. And that's definitely rare, because those aren't uh, something that I've seen, um, if at all, very rarely. Um, so, definitely something worth picking up. Um, and I'll try to put that into notable items. Some flowers, and more flowers. Alright, so we found the Pelagia farm. And this is the farm that we have found today. Mm -hmm. uh, got some more quiet people There's here. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never oh, is. Word. So you can sell this dude potatoes and work. cabbages. Nice. Sold him 37. Honest bay for honest work. You should buy some produce from Carlotta's stall. Most of it comes from my farm. Oh, and he pays two gold per cabbage. Nice. That's a cool thing we can do with all of our stolen food. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and pick his crops oh, for him. Need something? As more gold is always worth it. So basically, yes. um, you Good know, you, you can side, sell uh, farm food. foods to the various farmers around the right one. Um, oh, look at all this. What do we have here? Are these potatoes? Yes. So you can just come out here and work for some money real quick. And I don't know how long it takes plants to respawn, but whenever they do, you can always come back for more. And there's even leeks you can grab here and sell to the other farm owner across the road there, who buys the leeks from you for a gold uh, per piece. And although they're also food, um, much more valuable is gold rather than food, because you can buy potions that will uh, do far more healing, I think, with said money. Besides, these take up a lot of weight. Alright. Ooh, the butterfly. <laughs> I think it's kind of messed up that when you catch a butterfly, basically he rips his wings off and puts two of them in your inventory. <laughs> uh, anyways. We got some barrels, some tomatoes, salt pile, and cabbage. Uh, what's up here? Uh, nothing we can pick, I guess. Alright, so there's a little stall that has a few items in it. We've got another uh, grand mill. Although I still haven't figured out a use for those yet, so if anybody wants to go ahead and tell me, um, I can do know maybe a follow-up video or at least just post a comment or you can post a comment whatever um it would be helpful for anyone else all right let's hide and start picking this lock here there we go easy didn't even lose a lock pack let's quickly rob their house apple pie carrots Boiled cream treats. Delicious. I mean, these cups are kind of valuable too, but I don't try to grab that many of them because we still need to um, get to a point where we uh, find a merchant who will buy some of our stolen goods, uh, which I shall be covering because that's an important part of all this thievery that we're doing. Some books, Thief of Dawn. These are just. Uh, Ooh, Draught of Health, nice. That's very valuable. That can also come in handy in a pinch. Some iron boots we can steal. Armor. Not bad. Ooh, more books. But more importantly, silver ingot. Some metals. Um, not so valuable book. I'm pretty sure that's just a flavor textbook. Uh... 
the cooking spit we can use, some gourd. Let's leave the clothes. I think the books that give you stats usually have a much higher value than the rest, which is a good way of picking them out. But I'm going to go ahead and just grab all of them, because what the hell. I have the place to store them. Ooh, Songs of Skyrim Revised. Just a valuable book, but <clears throat> no skill point. Alright, let's look at these books real quick, scan over them. Oh, uh, you can double tap it really quick. You don't have to bring up that screen. these sacks it looks like and the barrels hmm. looking pretty cleared up in here they don't have one of those little food rack things hanging up and I made sure I grabbed whatever's in here yeah there's nothing in there yeah, there's nothing in there all right back outside so that uh, drought of healing was probably the most valuable thing uh, in the house, but um, still not bad. Zora Thievery has been fairly profitable. And uh, some of it we can flip right away because we can go take all the cabbages and potatoes that we've sold or picked up and uh, take them to these people and just sell it away. Oh, look at that. Who's this? Gloth? Need something? It isn't I got anything interesting to say. I'll just take your chicken eggs. Thank you, sir. I'll be having There's a nip my in the air. Ooh. I own the Pelagia farm just outside the city walls. Nimriel takes good care of things for me. Alright. Whatever, dude. Honest pay for honest work. So 88 gold from honest the cabbage. Honest pay for honest work. You should buy some produce from and, uh, stall. another uh, 12 farm. gold added for those potatoes. So we made um, about 150 gold straight up cash um, from, you know, picking up all those little fruits and things. What do we got here? Um, hollowed out stump. We'll check that out in the next location video while we go check out what looks to be a stables over there. Which will be my uh, next little um, thievery slash location guide. Yeah, my carry weight's doing pretty good. So I don't think I even have to drop anything off. Um, just want to do one quick double check. Looks like we got everything here. I'm not seeing anything we missed. It was mostly a bunch of food items like before. Um, but you know, because you can sell them to the farmers. You can make a quick turnover and then you can run over to that lady and sell the leeks that we picked up. And that covers uh, the farm here. Which one was it again? We're at the uh, Pelagia farm. That's right, he was just talking about that. And you can kind of see its location and respect to all the other things that we've covered so far. And uh, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching.